Hello? Am I under arrest? Finally. Is anybody gonna tell me why I'm here? What is going on? <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? <clears throat> Go fish, guys. Go fish. It says here, you work at the university. Some sort of professor? Sure, if that's what you want to call him. I do. Where were you last night, professor? At the dinner party. That's where you picked me up. You sure it wasn't a costume party? Are you, are you saying you think this is a costume? Are you saying you just have that shirt hanging in your closet? <laughs> There's not a lot of people that can pull off purple. I can. Only when I wear it. I call it plum. Why? Yeah, no, I'm real, man. Here we go. Why am I here? It was a murder at your little dinner costume party last night. What? Careful now, Smith. Are you serious? When you were at this party, did you spend any time in the billiard room? Uh, no, I, I, I don't like games. So, no time in the billiard room. How about the lounge? No, I, I didn't. Or I, the library? Uh, no. Conservatory? No. The ballroom? Why does this feel weirdly familiar? Just answer his question. I don't know. Why does it matter what room I was in? How about the dining room? Yeah, I mean, it was a dinner party. Of, of course I was in there eating dinner. Wait, you don't think that I had anything to do with this, do you? Depends. Do you recognize me? This? Is that the murder weapon? You tell us. Because we were thinking it could also be something like this. Or this. This is Clue. Are you playing Clue? <sighs> so this isn't real. These are all clues to a murder investigation. So you're telling me that you're not sure if the person was murdered by being stabbed or, or strangled or, or candlestick to death? Just admit what you did or did not have in your hand. And, and, and what room you was in. And what room you were in. That, that's an important part. That's how we do this. <laughs> What's next? A lead pipe? No, no, no. We eliminated that. Yeah. We don't need the one of you use the pipe. That's right. Oh, no, no. Wait. So you have another suspect in this weird little game. Damn it. But you're number one on our list. Yeah. Well, number one on his list. My list, yeah. I'm still thinking that the lady in white might have done it in the conservatory. My wife? Ho ho! That's the good stuff. So Mrs. White is Mrs. Plum. Right, yeah. Because I'm Professor Plum, because I'm wearing a, a purple shirt. Plum shirt. You know what? If you want to split hairs, it's heliotrope. You have a problem with my partner calling that shirt plum or even wearing plum himself? Idiots. I'm ready to make my accusation right now. What? Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, you're going down. Down for what? Wearing the wrong color shirt? What is this? Open it. And read it. Out loud. Professor Plum, heliotrope, with a rope in the lounge. Wow! This is literally the stupidest thing that's ever happened in my life. Admit it! I got you! I got you so hard, Professor! I'm gonna play a little game now called Lawyer Up. Damn it. And my wife is going to be playing Lawyer Up too. Did you hear that someone named Mr. Body was murdered at the dinner party last night? Not a real name, not a real crime. You can go. Oh, no, 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 wait! You guessed wrong! Yeah, but don't I get a guess? Oh, are, and are you ready to do that? You're free to go. <laughs> That's not how the legal system... That is exactly how the Parker Brothers legal system works, morons. How many murderers are gonna go free because of your impatience? Not a murderer! First, you eliminate all the other suspects, then you make your accusation. Sometimes you just gotta take a guess. You gotta take a risk. That just leads to trouble. Sorry, Sarge. 
can't help but think that this whole operation is just a trivial pursuit. Wow. That's the game of life. Are you even listening to yourselves? 